Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another monthly favorites. It's already May. What a year it's been. Seriously, can this year be done already? 2020 was really just like an S show. And yes, I, I am censoring myself now because I'm about to hit 1k as of when I'm filming this. I may have already hit 1k by the time that this goes up. Actually, I, I will have hit 1k by the time that this goes up. So now I have to worry about being viable for ad placements and stuff, so I'm gonna get a little bit more PG in the language here on my channel, but we'll still have fun. But anyways, like I said, it's time for another monthly favorites. I'm gonna be sharing everything that I've been loving with you guys in April while I've been on quarantine, because I mean, I haven't gone anywhere, so <laughs> this is all things that I've been loving for being at home. And I am gonna expand this one. You guys know I've been doing a lot of grocery shopping because like, what else? can you do right now? And I've also been doing a lot of cooking and stuff and watching a lot of TV. So I am also going to be including some of my favorite snacks that I've been having and a couple of show recommendations that I have been loving. So without further ado, please subscribe. Like this video really helps my channel out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what one of your favorites during April has been and let's get to it. Like I said for this favorites, I am gonna expand and do a couple of extra categories that I don't normally do, but I am gonna go ahead and start out with my fashion and beauty favorites, just because also too, I'm wearing a lot of the fashion stuff. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is jewelry. I've been buying a lot of jewelry while I've been on quarantine. It's just like been my thing to wear very comfy loungewear pieces, then dress it up with some jewelry so that I don't feel like too frumpy or just like too casual, you know? So my first favorites are actually the earrings that I'm wearing right now. These are just like a pair of simple gold hoops. These are from the brand Ellie Vale and all of their jewelry is waterproof. I believe that they're plated in like 18 karat gold so that they won't tarnish, they're not gonna react with water and they can last you a lot longer. But even though they do have that gold plating, they actually are pretty affordable. These ones were $64, which I know to some people that's a lot, but I've just been more looking into investing into better quality jewelry over the last couple months. So 64 for a pair of really, really good gold hoops that I'm gonna wear honestly daily. I wear these earrings constantly and they're just very classic there's something that I'm gonna have for a long time is not a bad investment price at all in my opinion but again these are the Cecile thick hoop medium earrings I believe that they do come in three sizes there's a small this is the medium and a large I'll link all three for you guys down below but they do have afterpay so you can definitely split up that payment but if you are looking to invest more in your jewelry and you're looking for a pair of classic hoops I would highly recommend these and then kind of in line with these earrings is another jewelry piece that I have been loving I just got it about half halfway through this month and you guys I'm so in love and I knew I was gonna be because I wanted this piece for so long. I think I first saw it back in November or December and I didn't jump on it right when I saw it then they sold out and I like wanted to cry my eyes out and I didn't know if it was coming back and they finally restocked in April so I literally just jumped on it so fast it wasn't even funny but it is this ring this is the eternity ring I believe from Miranda Fry I'm just like so in love with this ring it is such a statement ring which I adore and this just totally reminds me of like a necklace that my mom and like a ton of other moms in the 90s used to have it was like a very very similar pendant to this just like on a gold chain but I feel like every Every mom had that back then so when I saw this in ring form I just died over it and I absolutely love it I wear it every single day it's just like my new baby even when I go to like stack my ring some days I'm like maybe I don't want to wear this but then I'm like no I have to because I love it that much and then as far as sizing with this goes it comes in one size because it is open on the back as you can see so you can adjust it to wear it on like any finger which is definitely great because then it just gives it more versatility and a little bit more value since you do have those options to wear it next up in fashion is this t-shirt I'll go ahead and stand up for you guys so this is the thrills metal cobra merch tee from Princess Polly I have wanted this this t-shirt for so long I think ever since December I remember I had wanted to purchase it to like wear in Vegas for like just like the daytime in Vegas when I went for my 30th birthday and they had sold out of my size by the time I was ready to get it I was really really upset and sad but they finally restocked it I did size up in this I normally wear a size 6 and I decided to size up to a size 8 to make sure that it would definitely be a good dress length on me which it is and I just like I love this it's so in like first off I just like love the snake thing I actually really 
do like snakes personally. They don't scare me. I was actually, I think, born in the year of the snake, so I, I have no problem with snakes. But this is super on trend because it is tie-dye, so I love that it combined those two elements in it. Okay, next up is another tie-dye piece. Well, kind of tie-dye. I would actually more classify this as like an acid tie-dye job or something like that. But so many of you guys love this sweatshirt. Every single time I wear it, so many influencers honestly have this sweatshirt. And I did wear it in my second Amazon favorites video, which you guys, that has just blown up this month and I'm so grateful for it. But even from that video, people were asking me about the sweatshirt. But it is this one from Urban Outfitters. This is from their Urban Renewal line, which means that this is basically a renewed clothing piece and I'm just like so in love with like the black and white. I love the kind of like tie-dye effect on this sweatshirt. It's really really comfy. It comes in one size and it's super oversized. It's absolutely perfect. On me it kind of goes down to about mid thigh and it's just absolutely my favorite piece that I've been wearing during quarantine. I definitely gravitate towards this one the most which is probably going to start slowing down because it's starting to get really really hot here so I'm not going to be able to wear this during the day very much but I'm pretty sure at night you'll probably find me and this a ton. Okay then last up in fashion favorites speaking of that Amazon video I did want to shout out these leggings you guys oh my god I just like love these so much. I wouldn't say that they're my new favorite leggings I would definitely say that they are pretty much up there with those Forever 21 leggings that I love and adore so much, but the difference is that these are actually in stock and not always sold out. So this one is the eggplant one, but if you've been watching my vlogs, then you know I also went back and I bought the black ones as well. But these are supposedly dupes for Lulu's leggings, but they are super, super flattering. They suck your tummy in, they give you a nice shape on your legs, and I just like really love this big pocket on the side. It has it on both sides actually, that you can easily slip your wallet or your phone into. But yeah, highly recommend this. If you guys saw this in my last Amazon video and you were on the fence about whether or not to get it, I'm mentioning it again because it's that good. So definitely jump on it. Then moving on to beauty, I just have like a small handful of things that I wanted to share with you guys. First off is a palette that I probably should have shown you last month because I was actually loving it last month. And as soon as I like finished editing that video, I was like, Wait, I didn't show that palette, but I'm still loving it this month, so might as well include it. And it is the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. I had wanted this palette for a very long time. I'm noticing a theme here now. So many of these things I had wanted for a long time and had sat on until about quarantine time. I don't know why. I guess like quarantine just kind of inspired me to finally jump on ordering all of the things that I've wanted over the last year. But like I said, this is the Going Coconuts palette. I am just super, super into these cool toned browns. This is like the perfect everyday palette. Before quarantine, I was reaching for this palette constantly. And then during quarantine, whenever I'm just doing a quick face to film and I want to do something with my eyes more than just like a wash of color, like a cut crease or a halo eye or literally anything else, I would have reached for this palette because it's so easy to use. All of the browns in here are so gorgeous. They're so complimentary. And then also too, these shimmers in the middle are really, really beautiful. If you press them on with your finger, they give this really gorgeous kind of like wet look to your eye. And my personal favorite color in this palette is Shell Yeah. I love to wear this as just like a single shadow all over my eyelid. I've been very, very into that. For the past month, I don't know why. I'm just like super into just a single eyeshadow look. I think it has to do with how lazy I've become but also has to do with spring. <laughs> Okay, then next up, keeping up with the eyes. The next favorite that I want to mention to you guys comes from my Ulta and Sephora haul, and it is the Benefit Roller Lash Eyeliner. Oh my god. When I first started using the Waterproof Better Than Sex Eyeliner, I had been trying to decide between that and this eyeliner, and I went with that one, and I thought that it was really, really good and stuff. I was happy with my decision at the time, but then after a few months, I was getting really annoyed with the wand because it would come apart. It's made of like bristles and stuff that easily just start bending apart because when you put the cap on, the cap sometimes bends the bristles back, and I was like, screw it, I'm over this, so I finally decided to try this one, and I'm so mad at myself with not going with this in the first place. This eyeliner is the best eyeliner ever. First off, it's really, really black. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. It's super, super black, which is wonderful because I have darker features, so I need a black liner to be deep on me. And also, too, this wand. Oh 
my god I love it it's just a felt tip pen and it's perfect because it gives me so much control when I'm drawing my wing on and it doesn't come apart unlike the bristle brush that's on the other eyeliner so highly recommend if you're looking for new waterproof eyeliner this one is amazing yes it is waterproof and like I said you're gonna have the best control of your life when doing a wing with this okay then last step in beauty before we move on to lifestyle and food and TV shows and stuff. This one came from that Sephora and Ulta haul as well, and I can't believe that I never tried this lip liner until now. I don't know where I've been, but this is the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl, and this has just been like my go-to lip for the past month. Whenever I've been on camera, whenever I wanted a little bit of a lip, this is usually what I've been wearing. So here is the color. It's just like a really, really good, kind of like mauve pink and it has just a little bit of depth which is perfect for me because a lot of like nude pinks just tend to be too light on me so this one's definitely a good color if you are medium or tan and I've just been loving wearing this I will usually line my lips and then color them in just a little bit I won't do the very center but I'll just like kind of ombre the color in then I'll just put a gloss right over top and it's just been like my favorite combination this month okay then moving on to like my little lifestyle thing the first two are gonna be from that Amazon video as well and this one I guess kind of fits into the beauty category but I have been obsessed with these like little terry cloth headbands I had seen these on Katie Musser's Amazon favorites video and I was like why don't I already own these so basically they're just these little headband wraps that go around your head and then you can velcro them they can get really really tight and you use it to hold your hair back when you are washing your face and it keeps all of the moisture out of your hair which is perfect but it doesn't like leave a dent it doesn't flatten your hair so you can use it in the morning even when you're getting ready and it's just gonna be like the perfect thing to keep like all of your serums or your face mask or your moisturizer out of your hair so that you don't get all of that gunk and build up in there okay the next step is a mug and I'm sure you guys can see this coming a mile away so I won't talk about it for too long but it is the Luminarch Nordic I believe is the style name clear glass mugs from Amazon I just I had been searching for this for so long and yes I got those Dollar Tree ones that are super super cute but those ones I just prefer those for tea because they're so wide and it just feels like very cozy to hold and stuff but I prefer coffee and these because I just really like the more cylindrical shape I love watching my coffee pour in these in the morning if you guys have been watching the vlogs again you'll see I include a lot of clips of the coffee pouring into these mugs because there's just something like so sexy about watching coffee being poured or mixed in these mugs I just like I can't get over it. It's like one of my little daily joys in the morning. So if you're looking for a set of glass mugs, I can't recommend this enough. Obviously, I'll have the link down below, but they are just like the best. Okay, then moving on to some snacks. So for this first one, there's two that I really love. I only have one of them with me, but I'll put the picture up of the other one on the screen somewhere. But I have been really into popcorn for snacks and there's two different popcorns that I've been loving. So the first one is this one from Skinny Pop. This is the sea salt and pepper one. Oh my God, like I cannot stop eating this. This is so good, but it's like nice and light. I just like, I love the salt and the pepper together. It makes it like salty and savory, just like the perfect afternoon snack. And the great thing about this is that it's like only 39 calories per cup. So it just kind of makes it like the perfect mindless snack, which like obviously you shouldn't eat the whole bag. I try to do my best to portion this out in a bowl before I start eating it because I can definitely eat the whole bag in one sitting but this is wonderful I know that a lot of people are into skinny pop but I haven't seen a lot of people talk about the pepper one so next time you're at the grocery store and you go to get skinny pop and you feel like you're just gonna go get the salt or the butter one consider getting the pepper one instead because it is just so freaking good and then the other popcorn that I really love is from Trader Joe's they have like an herb popcorn that I think is around for spring either that or it's permanent one of the two but it's so good that one I do eat in one sitting it's like way too dangerous I definitely need to get better about portioning that one in particular out when I eat it but it's so good the mix of flavors like I never thought to put herbs on popcorn but it's just like it'll blow your mind it's the best next step for snacks slash cooking is something that I have had all over my stories I've used this in a few different recipes on my vlogs and it is bitch and sauce these are my two favorite flavors the original and the pesto and I like them for two different reasons if you guys haven't heard of bitch and sauce basically it's like an almond dip but it's like oh, it's so good you guys I can't like even describe the flavor like it's 
it's just amazing. I really love to use this as a dip with carrots or with like pita chips or crackers or things like that. That is one of my favorite snacks during quarantine when I'm not eating popcorn, obviously. Believe it or not, when it comes to this bitchin' sauce, I actually prefer to snack on carrots with it over chips or crackers or anything like that, which is crazy. This definitely makes me eat my veggies because there's just something about the sweetness of the carrot along with like the savoriness and tanginess of the bitchin' sauce that is just so good together. And then Trevor really likes to put this in his sandwiches and I also really love this on sauteed kale. I'll just cook up some kale with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then afterwards I will toss it in this sauce and it is just the best kind of like veggie side ever. And then for the pesto bitchin sauce, what I mainly use this for actually is salad dressing. It's so, so good. I mean, this is really great as a dip as well. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. It's so good. But this as a dressing is probably like my favorite dressing of all time. Basically what I do is I just mix it up with a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar to thin it out. And the red wine vinegar actually like accents the pesto in here. And then I'll just sprinkle it on top of the salad. And it's just like my favorite salad dressing of all time. Next up is a drink that I am obsessing over. You guys know that I'm super, super into GT's kombucha. The Trilogy one was my favorite kombucha for years and years and years. The Trilogy is raspberry, lemon, and ginger, and I actually have a big bottle of it downstairs, but a different flavor has replaced it in my heart, and it's so good, and it's so perfect for summer coming up because it's a very summery flavor, and it is the strawberry lemonade kombucha. This straight up tastes like strawberry lemonade, but like with a little bit of a tang, and it's like, oh my god, it's super, super good. Like I said, it gives like the perfect summery vibes. I've only been able to find this flavor personally at Trader Joe's, which is like kind of inconvenient because I wish like regular grocery stores would carry it but it's definitely worth going out of my way to go to Trader Joe's to get this at least every couple weeks. We do a Trader Joe's run every two weeks and I literally buy five of these every trip and I can actually make those five bottles last for two weeks because I only have half of the bottle at a time. I just usually pour it in a little wine glass with my lunch and just have like a fancy drink with my salad. Okay, then last up in food is something that I've like been eating for a while here on my channel, but I've decided that a different flavor of it is my new favorite, and it is the Peach Rains from Smart Sweets. The Sour Blast Buddies used to be my favorites, and I think it was just because it comes with like the blue raspberry and stuff, but honestly, overall, I don't like the lemon and the orange in that, so I'm usually only eating like three-fourths of the bag than trying to pass it off to Trevor, versus the Peach Rings, I will eat this whole sucker all on my own. I will bite your fingers off if you try to touch it. Again, it's kind of summery because it's peach, which like totally makes you think of summer, but it's just like such a good flavor. And if you haven't heard of Smart Sweets before, these only have three grams of sugar per bag. So it definitely helps to satisfy your sweet cravings. And what's great about these is that they actually have 28 grams of fiber, which is amazing. Most of us definitely don't get enough fiber in our diet. So disguising it with something that tastes and looks just like candy is definitely a great way to do that. Okay, then last up, I just have a couple of show recommendations for you guys in case you guys are running out of things to binge. Just want to tell you guys a few shows that I have been loving this month. First off is a show that I talked about in a vlog recently. It's not a new show. It was on E! a long time ago, and then they canceled it, unfortunately, but I think it's still worth watching. I rewatched it right now while on quarantine, and I had, like, forgotten just how much I love this show. I was literally excited to watch the next episode every single time, and it is The Royals on E! I went on a whole spiel about this show in a vlog, so I won't talk about it for too long, but basically, it's a fictionalized version of the English royal family, but they're all young. They're definitely not proper. They're super edgy, super out there. They get in all of these crazy conspiracies and situations that are just so outlandish but the show is really just such a great escape your mind is gonna go into that world and you're not gonna think about the fact that you're in quarantine you're not gonna be worried about anything going on in real life what you're gonna be concerned with is who gets to become king and whether or not Eleanor and Jasper are gonna end up together that's it that's what your life will become as you're watching the show and it's just absolutely wonderful and by the way that show is on Amazon Prime I realize I didn't mention that in the vlog but you can find all four seasons of the show on Amazon Prime and like I said unfortunately E did can 
cancel it. So it only goes to four seasons. It does end on a cliffhanger, so be advised, but it's still definitely worth a watch. So the next show that I want to recommend to you guys is on NBC, but it's on Hulu, and it is Stumptown. It stars Colby Smulders, who was Robin in How I Met Your Mother, and Maria Hill in the Avengers videos. She is a PI living in Portland. She has a brother with Down syndrome who she takes care of, and her best friend is like an ex-felon. He is played by Jake Johnson, who was Nick Miller on New Girl, which is my favorite show of all time. I've talked about it before. I just like, I love that show so much. So he and her are really like why I started watching watching that show because I love both of them from New Girl and How I Met Your Mother. So when I heard they were in a show together, I was like, okay, I want to check it out. But it's actually really, really interesting. Kobe's character, like I said, is a PI. So she works all of these different cases. Michael Ely is also in it. And he plays a detective that she works with a lot. And it's just a really, really good show. The story on it is amazing. I guess it came from like a comic book originally. But there's this whole backstory with a Native American tribe that like lives nearby and has land nearby and she was like involved with I guess like one of their later sons so she has like a whole history with them and she like works a lot of cases with them it's just honestly a really really well done show highly recommend it's kind of funny it's definitely a lot of action a little bit of drama a little bit of everything and it's just so so good but that was it for all of my favorites for April I hope that that helped you out these were kind of like my quarantine essentials as far as food shows and then also fashion and beauty go please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're you and you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up say hi to me in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next one bye outfitters I I believe oh oh no that's not a spider oh my god okay comes from my Ulta and Sephora haul shut up and it's perfect because why are we blue why are we blue why are we blue there we go